Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're going to be talking all about how to organize your wardrobe, build up a wardrobe you love, and how to keep your wardrobe organized. Now this is something I am all about because in the past <laughs> my wardrobe was an absolute nightmare. I'm not even kidding you guys. I never really ever cleaned out my wardrobe. I would just constantly add new things and it got to a point where it was just overflowing. It was extremely clean cluttered. I was always finding random things that I forgot I even owned and I honestly find it makes it harder to put together outfits when you are overwhelmed by your closet because you just don't even want to deal with it. You don't want to dig through it. So the whole point of this video is to hopefully get you guys on the right track to getting a very organized and clean closet that you're excited to go through. So I'm going to break this down into four steps into how we are going to get organized and have a closet that we love. So let's get started. Alright, so step number one is to do a giant closet clear out. So like I mentioned in the intro, I was at a point where I just felt so overwhelmed by the closet that I had and it just wasn't serving me whatsoever. So I like finally snapped. I was like, oh my god, like something has to change. And I did the biggest closet clean out of my life. I took everything out of my closet, I threw it onto my bed and I went through each piece one by one deciding what I wanted to hang on to and what I wanted to part ways with and I think this is something that you have to do if you want to get organized with your wardrobe so literally take everything out leave no piece behind put everything out onto your bed and go through everything one by one narrow in on the things that you absolutely love and then start building from there so step number one is to just do a giant clear out and if you have a lot of stuff to go through make sure you set aside a good chunk of time that you can just dedicate to doing this so step number two to getting an organized closet that we love is to focus on each piece when you are doing your giant clear out. When you're looking at each piece one by one, ask yourself a couple of questions. So number one, ask yourself, is this who I am now? Does this piece of clothing reflect who I am right now as a person? And then also ask yourself, does this piece of clothing reflect who I want to be and how I want my style to be? If your answer is no to either of those questions, then maybe it is time to move on from that piece. And I think this is a really great exercise to do while you are sifting through each piece one by one. It really helps you to narrow down and focus on the style that you want, that is you in this moment, and also how you want your style to evolve because our personal style is ever evolving. So step number three is to actually get organized with your wardrobe. So once we have done our full clear out, we have the pieces that we are gonna be keeping, now is the perfect time to put them away. And since your closet is completely empty because we took everything out from the start, this is the perfect time to organize things how you want to organize them and have that fresh and perfect wardrobe that you've always dreamed of. So there are a couple of different ways that you can organize your clothing. And I'm just gonna list out a couple of different ways that you can organize it. So the first way is to organize by style. This is how I personally organize my clothing just because I find it's the easiest and it's it's what works best for me. So organizing by style is basically like having all of your dresses in a section together, having all your camisoles, your blouses, your sweaters, your blazers, everything is organized section by section. And I personally love having my wardrobe like this because I know like on a day I'm like, okay, I wanna wear a dress today. Then I know exactly where all of my dresses are and I can just easily sift through all of my dresses and figure out which one I wanna wear. I know exactly where all my blazers are and I just love having everything organized by style so I find this is a really great way to organize your pieces I know it doesn't work for everyone but this is what I love so another way that you can organize your clothing is by color and I think this is very very visually pleasing if you do organize your clothing by color so you could have everything like laid out from light to dark so you have all your whites on one end all your blacks on the other end and then all of your colors and it's like a nice gradient throughout the middle looks really clean looks super organized it looks super fresh. I kind of semi organize by color I guess because within my style sections I organize each 
style section by color. So I'll always have like my whites at the start and then it slowly goes into the darks. So like for my camisoles and tank tops, I have like my white cami at the front and then it slowly moves to my black cami. Yeah, I kind of do a mix of the style and the color organization and that's what works best for me. Another way you can organize your wardrobe is by length. And I think this looks awesome if you have your wardrobe like out on display, like if you have a clothing rack out in the middle of your room or something like that, or you have an open-ended closet, then organizing by length length can look really, really nice as well. So basically if you have longer cardigans or longer dresses and then it slowly moves up into your shorter, shorter pieces. So I find this can look really visually pleasing. It's like a nice diagonal line from long to short or short to long, however you want to organize that. So yeah, those are basically the ways that you can go about organizing your closet. And once you've done that full closet clean out and you have the pieces that you're really happy to hang on to, that you actually like to wear and are the pieces that represent your style now, then getting everything organized and in place is honestly the best feeling ever. Just knowing each piece that you have have, knowing where everything is and that way when you are getting dressed in the morning you know exactly where to go you're not digging around you're not throwing clothing everywhere you have everything laid out perfectly for you and you never have to hunt for any of your clothes again because it's perfectly organized my last step, step number four, would be to edit your closet regularly. And I think this is so, so, so important. Like I mentioned before, when my closet was just an absolute mess, I never cleaned out my closet. Like in my early 20s, I just added things to my closet. I never ever did closet clean out, so my wardrobe just like slowly grew and grew. Yeah, it was just super overwhelming. And even the thought of cleaning out my closet was just such a daunting task that I never did it. Nowadays I clean out my closet regularly and it just really helps you stay on top of things and narrow down your style even more. I do two big edits to my wardrobe each season so I'll do one in the spring and the summer as well as one for the fall and the winter and then I kind of do mini edits throughout the year so if there is a piece here and there that I know just isn't really my style anymore or I'm not really wanting to wear it I'm yeah, I've just moved on from it or something, then I'll just bring it and donate it as I feel. For the most part, I'll do my like my major cleanouts seasonally. Yeah, I just find the more that you edit your wardrobe, the easier everything becomes, the easier it is to stay organized. It just really helps you stay on track with your personal style as well. Like the more you're asking yourself, does this represent who I am and what my personal style is at the moment, then the more you're really gonna narrow down on what you want your style to be. That basically wraps up my closet organization. I hope this video was helpful to you guys and it can inspire you to do maybe a good spring summer clear out and get organized and excited about your wardrobe. So yeah, that wraps up today's video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.